So this is our favorite day of the year. This is the day that we have opened the ladder for the first time for the salmon season, and we're letting fish enter the ladder and make their way up the steps to the hatchery so that we can begin egg taking. There's more people here today than what we normally see before the ladder opens. Yeah, a few more people today. Yeah, this is our, definitely our busy day um, with the excitement around the ladder opening, but we will be busy throughout salmon season. Lots and lots of people love to come out here and experience this in person right here in our backyard. So uh, we expect to be pretty busy all through the fall. So there will be fish in the ladder from now until about the end of February. We're going to have salmon coming up the ladder over the next six to eight weeks until almost Christmas time. And then we'll have steelhead trout come up right behind them and be in the ladder in January and February. So this hatchery is what sustains the salmon and steelhead populations on the American River. When Nimbus Dam and Folsom Dam were put into place in the 1950s, they blocked off access to all the upstream habitat that those fish used to utilize. So now there's only about seven miles of river down here on the Lower American that's still suitable for spawning, and that's just not enough space to produce the numbers of fish that we need to maintain a healthy population on this river. So that's what the hatchery is here to do, is to make up for that gap. Every year we produce four million fingerling salmon, which are released back into the river and into the bay to start their life cycle and return to the river as adults. We also produce about 430,000 steelhead trout every year. We're open to the public every day from 8 to 3 on weekdays, 9 to 3 on the weekend, and they can come out here and see the fish in the river, in the ladder. You can watch the egg taking process as well. That happens a couple of mornings a week, usually um, Tuesday, Thursday, or Monday, Wednesday. First thing in the morning, if you come in, we have windows in our visitor center where you can watch the whole process. And we have staff and volunteers here as well who can answer questions and make sure that you really uh, get a sense of what's going on and also that you get a chance to feed the baby fish in the raceways. Fish and Wildlife Service and Bureau of Reclamation worked with the Department of Fish and Wildlife to produce a, a whole new side channel, a Sailor Bar, where they dug out a side channel for the water to flow through. They augmented the gravel with tons of new gravel that's just what the salmon need for spawning. And they're already utilizing that space, and so we're really excited to see uh, that habitat restoration happening because that'll really help produce natural salmon. The hatchery by itself can't support the run, the river by itself can't support the run. We need them both in good condition. And so keeping that, that river healthy is crucial to supporting the salmon.